Welcome or welcome back. I'm SpeedyGimp313. In this video, we're going to be doing some exterior modifications to Deadpool the Camaro. And I'll explain a little bit more what those modifications are when we get to the shop. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video. But before we do that, we're going to head to Hux Automotive Performance and talk to them about some future plans for Deadpool the Camaro. So we just left Hux Automotive Performance and I didn't film anything in there just because I was trying to catch up with Huck because I haven't seen them in a couple of years. Matter of fact, I think I haven't seen them since the actual day of my wedding. Uh, I can't remember any other day that I've seen them since then. So it's been a few years since I've seen them and wanted to catch up. Uh, but basically what he said was, we're at a point in the build with the car where a lot of the questions I had or have we just need to go to the track run the car and see what the limits are and then that's going to answer a lot of the questions i had so i'm going to be working really hard moving forward to try to push for us to get ready to go to a track day so we can get some answers to some of these questions but now we're going to leave where we are and we're going to head to my buddy dave's house which is where you see me film a lot of these videos. And when we get there, we're gonna start on the exterior modifications that we're doing to Deadpool the Camaro. And I'll show you guys what we're doing when we get there. All right guys, so we made it to the shop and I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what we're gonna be doing. So what we're dealing with is there is a piece of trim that goes in that channel right there. And it actually came off originally over on the passenger side. But what we found is this little bracket right there that is actually missing on the passenger side. We're calling it a track. I don't know if that's the actual name for it. So what we're gonna do is we discovered that the trim piece on the driver's side was broken, but hadn't fallen off. So we're gonna replace the driver's side and then I'm gonna go to the dealership in the next couple of days and find out what we've got to do to get that bracket back on the passenger side. In part two of the bow tie upgrade, we're gonna wrap the bow ties with black carbon fiber vinyl. Since the last time we tried to paint them, it didn't work out as well as I had hoped. All right guys, so what you'll see on this side, and like I just showed on the other side, this side is actually missing the little channel, as we're calling it, that holds the trim piece on. So I've gotta to go to the dealership tomorrow and see what I can do about replacing that before I can put the new trim piece up there. And I'm gonna go back to the other side of the car and show you guys the installation of the new trim piece. You ready for me to try Yeah. It? So I'm gonna see if we can, so if we can do that there. Not as easy as we want to make it okay. Hi, Dave. So, let me take us a minute. Let's see, Dave. There. There we go. There we go. That's it.
I'm not gonna put too much pressure, you know, I'm trying to. You see the idea, right? Yeah. Trying to get. You get it hooked in on both ends. And then just push it down. And then just work it down in there. Yeah, so I'm trying to get it in here. I mean. Give me that back. Oh, okay, you know what? I just bent that back a little bit. That might be the ticket right there, dude. All right, so I'm just kind of making sure a hole is wide enough right here. There we go. All right, Dave. Let's think. What you think? Let's think. Oh, I don't think I. I don't know if we're going to get it to lay flat. Uh, I think it's good. So I was kind of rushed when I was filming the earlier footage showing the installation of the trim piece. And I don't know how well I explained it while we were filming. But what we discovered is that they're called retainer clips that sit in that channel and hold that trim piece in place. So what we did is installed the new trim piece on the driver's side where we still had the retainer clips. And I went to the dealership, which you guys have already seen. But when I went to the dealership, I picked up another trim piece as well as those retainer clips and I'm going to show the installation of those retainer clips All right, so as I mentioned earlier in the video, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna wrap the bow ties in vinyl and see how that holds up compared to painting them. And I'll include a link to the video where we painted them in the video so you guys can go back and watch that if you haven't already. Uh, and we're gonna get the process underway of starting the installation on the vinyl and I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step guide. All right guys, so the first step in doing the bow tie, and this applies to the front and the rear, is you wanna clean it, and I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol to clean the bow tie before we lay the vinyl down, just so we'll hopefully get a good adhesion. All right guys. Gotta get my... Lay it up here and we'll look. Some inches back here. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to say, really. So technically, depending on where you say cut it on this side, we could almost just cut it in half. Yeah, you want to do that? I mean, we got more if we need it. Yeah. Uh, what do I need to cut on this side? Uh, I'd say probably about right here, maybe. Like this. See, I'm almost tempted to take this. See, because if we cut it in half. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, let me see. That's the top of the bow tie where my thumb is. All right, let me see. I'll tell you what, let me go. And we're going to leave the chrome exposed. Oh yeah, we got it. What I was going to do was just lay it on the lay it on the bow tie, try to center it up on the piece mm -hmm. and lay it on the bow tie and then we can start working it with the heat gun and the edging tool. 
This is you still here or what? We can try that or I was gonna try this one for like yeah, getting it. like between the chrome and the, the gold. a little bit of leeway. Alright, you wanna you wanna maybe hit it with it? You want me to trim it back some more? I don't know, we'll try to hit it. Go to it. Well, I was, I was just getting where I know the chrome is. Yeah, above the chrome? Yeah, I'm cutting above the chrome. You say cutting straight across? Yeah. Because that, that's the top of the bow tie right there. guys so what we're doing now is we're doing the back bow tie we're having a lot of issues getting the vinyl to get down between the gold part of the bow tie and the chrome part of the bow tie but all i keep doing is just heating the vinyl up and then trying to work the vinyl in to the lines of the bow tie Let me save that heat gun, Dave, if you don't mind. See, it's bunching again with me just trying to push it in. Mm -hmm. It's bunching up again. Has it got free, free play up top? It's bunching up top, right? Yeah. All right, Luke, pull that out. Now do it with your stick. A bunch of now? A little bit, not as bad. Yeah, like I say, you need to loosen these sides, man. Uh, you know, like that. I was going to say, let's try to trim it some more. I thought I would jump in the video real quick and just tell you guys, this is my first time ever doing vinyl wrapping. So if you guys see me doing something that's incorrect, let me know in the comments below because I'm new to this and I'm trying to learn. I think what I'm going to do going forward is any updates on this process. I'm going to do as a YouTube short showing you guys updates on how the vinyl on the bow ties went almost a week before I go through the car wash to see how the vinyl does. So be sure to go to my channel and there's a tab on the channel page where you can see all of my YouTube shorts. And I will also say I wasn't as detailed with the process as I wanted to be for you guys. Uh, that's simply because I didn't have a way to have my camera like mounted on my head up here or on my chest 
while I'm doing this to show you guys up close the process. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I'll do the best I can to answer them. And I'm sorry the video wasn't more detailed. That's poor planning on my part for not having all of my camera mounts I might have needed to film this. If I redo this process at a later date, I will have the head mount for the GoPro. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If it's your first time coming to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. As always, links to all of my social media will be down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.